All right, welcome everybody. So this is our Tuesday Healthy Huddle at 5.30 Pacific time, of course. We got some people from New York, I see you over there, um, hanging out in all, all the East Coast and everyone in between. So um, wanted to give everyone a big welcome. Happy Tuesday. We do a Healthy Huddle every Tuesday. Um, it's short, it's sweet, and we just pick a topic of health to help us move forward. We have people on plan, health coaches, people that are just healthy in general, just joining in. And so um, this week, we actually uh, chose that we were going to cover the topic of healthy motion. And uh, certified health coach Dan Rommakers is going to come on and share some tips from Dr. Ray's ebook, as well as just some overall tips. But what I want to encourage you guys to, um, as we kick off this call, is that so many people think that healthy motion is going to the gym and or running or doing something like that, when really healthy motion just means getting your body moving. And, you know, getting, you know, ideally some calories burned in between and also moving your body in a way that helps you attain the goal you want. So, for instance, if you were wanting to get more tone, um, you know, maybe tone some biceps or something like that, you wouldn't necessarily go running. Or if you were trying to, you know, uh, you know, increase your cardiovascular endurance, you probably wouldn't be gardening. Um, or let's see here, if you were just trying to get more active because you're not like Dancing might be a good thing that you might do. The thing is, is that when you, when you when you get active, you want to make sure that it doesn't have to be the traditional working out. It's something that you want to enjoy that'll get you moving on a sustainable, long term basis. Uh, it's something that's fun for you. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone. You're getting rid of stress. You're debriefing yourself, but you're also moving in healthy motion. And my most favorite part about this is. Is it something that is sustainable for you long term? When you ask yourself, when I'm getting my healthy motion on, is this something that I can only do for a week? Or is this something that is fun for me, I can do, meets my goal, and is something I can continue long term? So with that being said, I'm just going to turn it over to Dan Rowmakers, and he's going to give you some tips from Dr. Ray's Habits of Health, as well as from his experience um, uh, in the past as, on the topic of healthy motion. So Dan, are you there? I'm here, Brad. And I, I couldn't have said it much better than you. You know, I get asked almost every day like oh, so what exercises should i be doing and um and, and i i my my simple answer to everybody and it's not to throw it back in their face but is like what do you enjoy doing what kind of exercises what kind of activity do you enjoy doing so what you said is so true and um and it's it is about creating a, a habit it's about doing something we love and making it a, a lifestyle and so i want to share a couple awesome tips real quick um and i'm going to share my screen right here from Dr. A's uh, ebook that everybody has access to, um, which is, is about the principle of NEAT. That's non-exercise activity. So things that we can do uh, to get our bodies moving and, and get going. And I just had to throw in something funny there because it goes back to what Brad said. There's a picture of the gym in December and there's a picture of the gym in January <laughs> <laughs> because it's not sustainable. And so doing something you love is so, so crucial. So the six neat categories are stance, standing, strolling, stairs, samba, and switch. And you know, stance is all about posture. So think about your posture when you're in the office, when you're in your car, when you're at home, um, you know, are you like this guy who's uh, who's here to, to correct your spine, but uh, has the posture of a, of, you know, of, of a hobbit there or whatever. <laughs> um, anyways, and so focusing on those core muscles can help burn a few extra calories and, and provide actually some great training for, for, uh, for future transition into more exercise that you want to do, building the core muscles. Um, you know, standing. So when you stand, I'm not going to expect you to have this cool, awesome setup, but, you know, try to stand more often uh, when you're working or when you're at the office or, or on the phone um, or even while you're making dinner or watching television, uh, you know, of all things. Uh, stand a little more. Uh, walking, you know, and this isn't walking set aside for exercise. This is just walking to get a little more steps in. My mom and I talk all the time, and when we talk, we walk. So I know she's on here. She's, uh, she's probably nodding. I can't see her. But, uh, you know, walk while you're on the phone. Walk while you're, uh, you know, walk to the, the next coworker or whatever. Um, stroll a little bit more. Walk a little bit more. Of course, the stairs. You know, um, it, it, you know taking the stairs. In fact, this is kind of a cool little, uh, and I can't actually see that very well, but um, 
a cool little stick. So climbing one flight of stairs is equivalent to walking a hundred steps. Um, you know, and then, and then doing 10 flights is like a half mile of walking. So it's cool little, little steps there. Just take the stairs a little more often next time. And Brad said dancing and, you know, never, <laughs> this is a picture from a convention here in Orlando. And, uh, a lot of people got their groove on and uh, I love it. Wow is exactly right. I mean, <laughs> never pass up the opportunity to, uh, to, you know, to uh, get some movement and have fun while you're doing it. And, um, and then lastly is switch. So do things by hand instead of with a machine. Uh, I'm not going to expect you to <laughs> wash your clothes, but you know, just doing a few more things. We, we've been a, we were, we've, we're such a technology based, uh, um, uh, um, society. So, uh, you know, walk more, bike more, uh, do things that require less, um, uh, less machinery. Um, anyway, so, uh, that's that, those are some, uh, some awesome tips that I got from, um, from Dr. A's ebook and just a way for all of us to start to implement a few extra things in our regular day, um, to, uh, to get some, burn a few more calories. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Dan. I love the, I love the thought process. I love the feedback. It's straight out of Dr. Anderson's ebook, which is always a great tool to be plugging into um, as we're finish, you know, as we're plugging in on a moving on our health journey, as we're getting our body physically healthy, if we're, as we're getting healthy motion, we want to get our mind healthy too. And that all that stuff is in there. So as we kind of wrap up today, we like to keep these calls short and on point on a topic that helps you be mindful of your health. So what I'll, I'll encourage you guys today is we have many people here that are, you know, to their goal weight. Some people are just starting programs. Some people are on their plan. So what I want to encourage you is, you know, many people uh, have heard that you, uh, you're not supposed to exercise while on the five in one program. And, you know, many of you guys are, you know, pat into transition or and into, you know, your three and three stage. Well, I'm going to make sure I mute somebody real quick here. Um, actually, Dan, can you, uh, can you stop sharing the screen real quick? I'm trying. My uh, computer's just thinking. It's That's a, no problem. I'm, I'm good too. I think and the, and the noise quieted down. So we're still good. Um, but actually, it, um, so if you're on plan, um, we're just asking you while you're getting started or in your first three weeks to cut whatever you're doing in half by time and intensity. So if your amount that you did before plan is zero, then half of zero is zero. And then if you're already doing something, we want you to just cut that in half. And then as you get into your um, you know, second and third week, we can start ramping that up. But we want you to take a gradual approach to it. You know, everyone will talk about their first workout and how they killed it and how they're so sore for the next three days and can't go back to the gym. So tell me how great really was that workout if you set yourself up not to be able to exercise for three or four days. What we want to do is create sustainable habits. And I would recommend if you're on plan, if you're seeking your health journey or even past your health journey, pick a solid three, four days a week that you can implement activity on a routine schedule, something that starts to become a habit that you don't have to think about. Just, you know, I've been using brushing your teeth often for a lot of uh, uh, this topic. So something that becomes as simple as brushing your teeth that works into your schedule. So um, if you again, while we're on plan, we're hitting that topic. Anything that's low cardio is going to be good because you don't want to burn a ton of calories while on program because you're already burning calories by the way you're eating. Your body's eating your your fat. So you don't need to focus on doing mindless, um, you know, large calorie output. So do something you enjoy, do gardening, do walking, do, if you're trying to tone specific areas, do workouts that are tailored to those areas. You can do push-ups at home, sit-ups at home. Um, you know, there's squat challenges you can do. Activity is really just getting movement and helping you shape your body while, um, while moving your body really. So with that being the case, that's just some information that'll help you on plan. Um, and just some general uh, guidelines for that. And the other thing that I would just encourage you as we kind of go off this week um, is um, to find something that is encouraging to you that will keep, I already mentioned this, but that's what I want to leave you with is find something that's encouraging to you, something that you enjoy, something that also helps you de-stress through your workout and something you can implement long-term. Probably one of my most favorite workouts that I haven't done personally, or I have done, but I don't do it on a regular basis, but a lot of my clients are doing is yoga. Because it's exercise, healthy mind, and relaxation all built into one. So, you know, you can really find anything that you'd like. So, actually, as we wrap up this week, I'd like you just to encourage you guys to ask yourself, what are you guys going to start be doing this week 
It's going to help you be more mindful of healthy motion. Are you going to start taking the stairs? Are you going to start parking further away from the store? Maybe stop taking the elevator and all that in between. And also maybe, maybe schedule in some workout days during the week. Uh, it can be anything you want. It just helps to fit your schedule. Like here's, here's an example for me. I used to spend about an hour in the gym about three, four, or five times a week. But I also now have a son that I don't want to miss. So I started incorporating all the kind of workouts that I can do at home with my son. So I'm doing things that I like that also are healthy exercise. And it's not taking up more than a half hour of my day three to four times a week. So as we kind of wrap up here, is, would anyone like to share some of the, anything that they've learned or implemented themselves that's really helped them on the healthy motion um, side of things? I'm, I can see a few people on my screen. Anyone want to, want to ch uh, share uh, something that's helped them as far as the topic of healthy motion? Go ahead and unmute yourself and, and chime in. I'm just going to call on Shane because I can see him. Shane, what have you done to implement healthy motion into your life? I, Brad, thanks for, for calling on me there. I find that getting it done first thing in the morning. So for me, and, and you know, I, I love how Dan actually said, you know, kind of puts it back on somebody. So what, what works for you? What do you enjoy doing? I enjoy mixing it up and I enjoy doing it early in the morning. So I may do yoga. I may for, go for a run um, in Forest Park. We have a nice park here. I may lift weights. I may do like a boot camp style workout, but I try and do it four times a week and get it done early in the morning, similar to like you and Witten. Um, I like to have it done and be home in time for Blake and Lucy to get up and, you know, help with Susan and getting the kids off for their day. So uh, I love it. Great tangible examples and it fit and you found a way to sustainably fit it into your life and fit your goals. And Connie's doing a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to call on Connie for a second. Cause I know she's a, avid walker so connie what do you what do you do how do you how have you implemented healthy activity into healthy motion into your into your schedule here i'll unmute you real quick because i think i see you trying to if i can oh here we go all right okay. connie you're, you're live now go for it okay oh well gosh thank you thank you brad for again um letting me share i um can't do a lot of um, real strenuous exercise, but the one thing I do is I walk. And any opportunity I can, um, and I, I do some of the very same things you've talked about today. I park far away, I um, take the stairs. There was a time I couldn't do that, so it is very valuable to me to be able to walk. Um, probably I walk 30 to 45 minutes a day, um, and I love it. And I, I put my music on. Sometimes it's when I talk. And right now I'm, I'm walking as I'm talking. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I just walk. I do lots and lots of walking. Oh, I love it. And you found the time to do it in your day. You're mindful of it. And, you, and it fits your, you know, something you couldn't do before. So you enjoy it every day. And it helps you on track for your journey. So I'll call on one more. And since he just looks so good and he, he's staying fit every single day, Garrett, what do you do to stay active? You're busy. You've got a really busy job, kids running around and crazy wife that's always needing to take extra time getting ready. How do you fit in your, your workouts? Well, Laura and I always, uh, well, we try to do, we have like a three mile loop. We do it at, around the neighborhood at night um, when it cools off. Like we just talked about that. I just whispered, Hey, we've got to go walk tonight. <laughs> I love hiking, you know, Eagle Scout, growing up with the Boy Scouts, I love being outdoors. So we started a hiking club at our church. So we're trying to create that community and we started, you know, we're going to be doing that on Sunday again. We're now that it's, we, we got past some of our hotter months, we're starting that again on Sunday, um, doing local hike with our church group. So that's kind of one of the things that we do. You know, going to the gym is something that's, I don't even do as much. I'm a contractor, so I'm walking all day long, and I have no problem parking far away from the job to uh, walk into the job. And, you know, the houses I work on are, are large, so I get plenty of steps during the day. But we're more than willing always to uh, get those extra steps in at night, do it with the family. So, yeah. Yeah, see, see, you, you combined your love with community and uh, a sustainable schedule. And your, your commitment to activity helps remind you of your health goals because maybe you could share with people on the line here because uh, you know, actually I should have grabbed a few other people's stories. But how much weight did you lose on planet? How long ago was that? Um, 
two and a half, well, over two and a half years ago, lost 50 pounds on plan. And yeah, it's, it's first time successfully maintaining like many of us, but it's been amazing. And just wanting to, uh, just having the energy to want to exercise, you know, so it's no longer, um, it's no longer, you know, we're going to start on Monday. What do you think? Should we start on Monday? <laughs> Monday is today, so we're living today every day now. Wow, oh, I love it. And you got in your schedule. You guys are always picking out fun things. So great example of healthy exercise, healthy motion, getting the body going. It doesn't need to look like the gym. Um, it can look like whatever it is you want. And my encouragement to you, because I'm a, I'm a geek on this kind of stuff, but is make it sustainable. Because it's not about how great you can do this. You don't want to be like those people. Everyone talks about their workouts at the beginning of the year, but where are they come February? So we want to make our workouts sustainable fun, supporting our healthy mind and our goals. So with that being said, let's go get some healthy motion this week. And thank you guys for uh, joining in. Thank you, Dan, for sharing the great topics and everyone who shared some of their uh, personal uh, victories on that. You guys all have a great week and let's be mindful and uh, just take one step forward because yeah, we're doing healthy motion. So one step forward, everybody this week. Talk to you guys later. Awesome. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Thanks, Brad. Brad. Thanks Bye, Brad. Brad. Thank you.